today we're going to talk about biofeedback, epigenetics, and the biology of belief. And I don't know uh, if you know about this, but there's a great book out there that's proved something that one of my early mentors, Arnold Schwarzenegger, talked about. You know, back in the day, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he wrote a book called The Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding. And inside it, he showed the different the three basic body types. There's an ectomorph, there's a mesomorph, and there's an endomorph. And this person tends to be very lean, tall, thin, you know, low body fat, high metabolism. The endomorph tends to have a very thick bone structure, wider hip structure, gains fat relatively easy. And then the mesomorph is kind of the naturally heavily muscled person, builds muscle easily, and also stays very lean. And most of the top bodybuilders or top athletes are particularly mesomorphs. But what Arnold talked about inside there, which was very interesting, it was very cutting edge, is he talked about the ability to change some of your you know, genetic responses, if you will, through training and conditioning. And most people thought Arnold was crazy at the time and that was really far out. But in that, in that encyclopedia, he showed examples of different athletes that had worked within their basic genetic structure and were able to change things through training, nutrition, but more importantly, belief programming the mind and of course that's one of the principles remember our awesome formula is mental beliefs and attitudes and he talked about the things that he used because really he probably didn't have the best genetics for bodybuilding and he was able to change that and that was a big factor for me and one of the reasons I got into neuro-linguistic programming and the Lee Poulis program we talked about that about working on my belief system so that I could get a better response from your training well, decades later, along came a guy by the name of Bruce Lipton, who actually started to prove that you can actually alter a certain amount of your genetics. The science today is called epigenetics. In other words, it all comes down to that old, you know, the old question, nature versus nurture. And Charles Darwin oftentimes was misinterpreted. People, and he said it wasn't the species, the strongest and the fittest, that was the most successful. It was actually the most adaptable. And what he meant by that was the ability for a species to adapt to its environment. And now, how does, you know, where am I going with all this, you might be wondering. Well, Part of following through this program is to generate and create a different environment, both externally with what you're doing and internally by the products that we suggest you try out. By combining these two things, what happens is on your cells, okay, inside the cell, remember you have your DNA. This is your message broadcasting system that tells your body. Now, a great part of these genetics they thought were fixed, which is true. However, Mr. Lipton talked about how you could actually reprogram a certain percentage of your DNA that would allow you to produce better results, just like Arnold suggested way back years and years and years ago. And this is a cutting edge science that is now emerging and gaining bigger acceptance in, uh, acceptance in the world. So what does that mean for you? Well, maybe you've been an endomorph all your life, or maybe, you know, and you've had trouble losing weight, or maybe you've been an ecto and you've been sickly and had struggle and things. That's probably not going to change, you know, what you got from your parents. However, by going through this environment influencing aspect, your body will naturally begin to change and adjust. You know, the body becomes its function. And we, we know that if um, you start doing cardio exercise, even if you're not very good at cardio, if you train long enough, you might not become the world's best, but you can become far better than average. In fact, you can become excellent even if you have poor genetics. Or maybe you might be a natural ectomorph, but you can go through training that will allow yourself to build muscle. And I know this because I had this experience. I had terrible genetics for bodybuilding, but through the belief, through dealing with external stimulus and putting the right stuff inside my body internally, 
I was able to have a reasonable level of success, good enough to get to the world championships. I didn't win the world championships, but I was able to get there. Now, obviously, it probably took me longer than some of the other people that you know, had maybe genetic advantages, but here was the upside. I had to learn all about these things, and you know, turns out it all worked out really well because now, because I had to learn all these things, I'm able to share these with you, and I'm so happy to do this because we've had thousands and thousands of clients that have been able to alter this, reprogram their mind, change their environment, and start getting a different message from their cells. And over time, you will be able to develop what we feel is an awesome level of health. That's our whole program, awesome. You're gonna feel awesome, look awesome, and more importantly, you're gonna be healthy from the inside out. And that's the whole biological model that we, we follow and advocate at Bioptimizers, and it's why we're so happy to share this with you. So a lot of what we're talking about, there's a lot of information. We put this course out for you so you can review it all, but you want to stick around because we're on that last week, and we're going to get into the next session, which is really about how do you start to you know, figure out your own specific epigenetics? How do you get specific hormone testing? Like, how do you find out what toxins you might be suffering from? These are important issues that you want to get expert advice. So in the next upcoming lessons, we're going to share with you how you can get it. So make sure you stick around, and we'll see you on the next lesson.